Hey guys, what's going on today? We're going to react to Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator speech because that is one of the videos that you guys sent me. I have been looking at the requests on my Patreon. If you want to join, it is I Want My Lauren reacting and shooting videos almost on a daily basis. And yeah, guys, we're just going to jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Leave a like here and comment down below if there's any videos that you think we should get into next. I'm excited and we're just gonna check this out right now. Are you ready? I know I am. All right. I'm sorry. I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent, and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, yeah. the misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite. Wow. What did I just watch? Oh my goodness, guys. That was crazy. That was very 
interesting. I have never seen The Great Dictator. I kind of want to watch it now. But it was written and directed and star starring uh, Charlie Chaplin. And he actually played two roles in the movie. So I, yeah, I, I looked it up. One of the dogs was just saying, making noise to that. But wow, I looked it up. And it's it's definitely very, very interesting. Um, I, I really want to write it. So it says, the final speech from the great dictator in his autobiography, Chaplin quotes himself as having said, one doesn't have to be a Jew to be anti-Nazi. All one has to be is a normal, decent human being. So that is really like, what, a, what an amazing person. I have to watch this movie now uh, to, to understand it more. And um, yeah, uh, people are saying, you know, that, Charlie Chaplin's one of the most iconic performers in history. I mean, for somebody who is known for his comedy, he was nominated for an Oscar for this movie. And just really cool that he wrote and directed it himself. And like, basically, not only did he star in it, but he played two roles in it. So I think that is really says a, a lot. He is such was such a talent. Um, um, so I'm just looking at this. Um, starring British comedian Charlie Chaplin, following the tradition of many of his other films, having been the only Hollywood filmmaker to continue to make silent films well into the period of sound films, Chaplin made his first true sound film. Wow. Produced by, directed by, written by, produced by Charlie Chaplin. Very cool. Music by Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chap Chaplin Production Company. The budget was $2.2 million and it made $5 million. I mean, back in 1940s, I'm sure $2.2 million was a lot more than, than what it is now. But really cool. So I'm going to read a little bit about this with you guys. I don't know. Have you guys seen The Great Dictator? Let me know in the comments below. I know you guys requested me to watch this. So now I have to watch the movie. But we should maybe, it, it, would that be a fun movie for all of us to watch and react to together? Maybe. I don't know. Um... Chaplin's film advanced a stirring accommodation of Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini, fascism, anti-Semitism, and Nazis. At the time of its release, the United States was still formally at peace with Nazi Germany and neutral during what were the early day days of World War II. Chaplin plays both leading roles, a ruthless fascist dictator, and a persecuted Jewish barber. That is so smart. Like, what a... you know, And that's another thing, like... People like British, British actors are so talented and smart and wow. Uh, the Great Dictator was popular with audiences, becoming Chaplin's most commercially successful film. Modern critics have praised it as historically significant film, one of the greatest comedy films ever and made an important work of a satire. Chaplin's cinematic monologue has frequently been listened to by critics, historians, and film buffs as perhaps the greatest monologue in film history and possibly the most Pognant recorded speech of the 20th century. It really is a great, uh, an amazing speech, and it's just so impressive that he <laughs> wrote, directed, produced this whole thing, and then did it. He just knocked it out of the park in terms of acting. You know, you, you can see people when they are doing acting. It's just like certain people can really get into the character and shine. And he's just so like he is one of uh, you know the people that have inspired me. Uh, just because he's just so expressive when you when you watch him. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to continue. In 1997, it was selected by Library of Con Congress for Preservation in the United States Film Registry as being uh, culturally, historically, or anesthetically significant. The Great Dictator was nominated for five Academy Awards. Outstanding Production, Best Actor, Best Writing, Original Screenplay, Best Supporting Actor for Jack Oakey, and Best Music. Oh, wow. In 1964, Charlie Chaplin stated that he could not have made the film if he had known about the true extent of the horrors of the Nazi concentration camp at the time. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So this is, shows a picture of him. But, yeah. Very, very cool. It's, it's definitely... I'm going to watch it now for sure. And I... I, um, wow, that, this is amazing, guys. Thank you. You know, I love movies and making movies. So thank you so much, Adrian, who suggested I watch this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Adrian, one of my Patreons of the day. And if there's anything else that you think I should react to, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I love you. Bye. Subscribe, too. Do it.